welcome back and in this section let's talk about the five principles of success in NLP we use many different techniques to help our clients achieve the goals that they want and when it comes to success we incorporate the five principles of success to achieve our desired outcome there are five simple steps to help us achieve what we've set out to do or to take control of our situation they're quite simple in their own right and yet very powerful when combined and so the first is to know your outcome you need to really know what it is that you want to achieve or where you want to go or what you want your outcome to be many people are totally lost like sailing ships in a thick fog because they're looking for something but not quite sure what should I change my career must I stay with the person that I'm with what do you really want make a list of the specific things that you want to achieve be sure to write them down and write down exactly what it is that you want and not what you don't want then of course once we know what the outcome is what we want to achieve then we need to take action and in fact we need to take massive action it, it's quite simple yet so many people sit around and they ponder about what they should be doing next never actually doing what it takes to get where they want to be if you want to change your career take action you need to start looking for another job if you want to save the relationship with you take action why is it not going the way you want it to go speak to your partner and find out what he or she wants sitting around on your bum and not taking action is not going to get you anywhere that is how people wake up and they realize their lives have passed them by it's when they say should have could have would have so we need to take that massive action the third thing then is to have sensory acuity and so this is interesting in the fact that we sometimes oblivious to what's going on around us example what signals are we getting from other people you know let's stick with the idea of the relationship just for a second and really simplify it just for explaining what we mean by sensory acuity if you lean in closer to give your partner a kiss and they turn their head so that you kiss their cheek instead or they get red in the face then yeah, there's probably something wrong ask them what the problem is if it's been going on for some time there may be some underlying issues and maybe why you get this feeling that all is not well you know, if they jump up and they give you a more passionate kiss then it's a good indication that you're getting what you want so be aware of the subtle signals that people give us to show their emotions so if you're taking action to achieve a particular goal and things are not quite going to plan then it's important to notice that it's not going to plan and of course then have behavioral flexibility now in this instance you know i'm talking about sensory acuity specific in looking or noticing within a person but we can have sensory acuity in noticing anything that we do is it working or not and of course that leads us then to step number four which is to have behavioral flexibility so let's say that there you are in a restaurant and your waiter brings you some food problem is that the food is cold so what do you do a you moan at the waiter and make a bit of a scene your partner is embarrassed and later you'll argue about your behavior the waiter is already having a bad evening because the warmer draw is playing up and that's the reason why the food's being is cold or b now let's just say you quietly and politely call the waiter over and explain that the food is cold he profusely apologizes and explains about the warmer draw he's actually also the manager and he says you can have the meal on the house because of your politeness you see the way in which we act determine how other people again will react and so on the same situation can have many outcomes depending on your behavior back to the relationship example shouting it back at your partner instead of asking them why they're in a bad mood can lead to further argument speaking to them in a soft caring calm voice could calm them down and give them time to explain and maybe they just had a terrible day at work so if something isn't working do it differently look for alternatives so have this behavioral flexibility and as you do you want to operate from a physiology and psychology of excellence so what do we mean by that 
Well, how do you stand? How do you carry yourself? The thoughts that run through your mind and how you act. Make sure what it is that you want in your head and how you want to carry yourself to achieve your outcome. Is it conducive to getting you the results that you want? Would you go to an interview in ripped jeans, chewing gum and act in a way that may offend the potential employer? Do you walk tall and speak clearly? When you're with your partner, do you lie on the couch and shout across at the room for them to get you another cup of coffee? You don't see the Queen of England swearing in public and chewing gum with her mouth open. Instead, you will see a polite wave and a smile. So be sure that you act, behave and carry yourself in a way that's conducive for the end result you wish to achieve. This doesn't mean being false. It simply means that you act in a way that will do you proud because you never know who's watching. And so these are the five principles of success with some simple examples just showing you know how we as people can behave and that there can be different outcomes depending on the behavior or lack of behavior. So when we incorporate these five principles of success then we behave in a way that will help us at achieving our intended goal. You know Henry Ford said whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way you're right. And Michael Caine once said, I have a policy to never listen to anyone explain why they can't do something. He said he didn't want to become convinced by them. And so when we have this goal or this outcome that we want to achieve, you see we can be like a light bulb and we can be all over the place. Instead, if I take that energy from that light bulb and I focus it like a laser then I can take massive action in focusing to achieve the particular outcome that I want to achieve following these five principles of success good so that's the five principles of success and in the next section we're going to be talking about wheel of life